what I want to tell you is how do you find like how do you find a perfect prospect you see how these are all hot leads right hot 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 lead there's a warm lead right there if I kept going hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about active group users and how to find your perfect prospects I'm telling you perfect prospects is what you want you want to find perfect prospects sure you can find ideal prospects you can find your target market but you want perfect prospects the one that buy from you so we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. If there's one thing that we all want as online marketers, affiliate marketers, network marketers, people building business online, you're building your business online, you want to waste as little time as possible on the people that are not gonna buy from you right so what you want is you want to find those perfect prospects that's the ones you want the ones that will buy from you but how can you find them right how can you find those people we're gonna talk about that but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're gonna to want to go check out the video at cis490.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you all about this all right so let's get to it let me just share my screen right now and let's go to the let's go to uh say Facebook let's just go to Facebook uh, hold on where's my screen right there okay so you're on Facebook and you're using Facebook to build your business so if you're using Facebook to build your business you're probably like everybody else like when I started out right I was like okay I'm gonna comment on this post here I'm gonna react to this post I'm gonna go into these groups right I'm gonna go into uh, I don't know let's go to groups I'm gonna go find the groups that my uh, target markets in I'm gonna go become the expert in that group I'm gonna comment on posts I'm gonna do all these different things uh and that's just you know if I look at high ticket affiliate marketing rolled right right there this group here is one of the groups that I'm in so let's see if it'll load up because it's kind of slow but yeah you go to the group and you become the expert in that group that's what leaders tell you to do right well I did that and it kind of works sure it does yeah it does do something but the problem that I found with it is that Facebook kind of is in control Facebook is in control of what I see here right Facebook is in, is in control of the posts that I'm gonna see and I'm gonna react to the posts that I see in the feed because you know I don't have time to go and look for everything and go screw go through them all and you know plus if you know if you engage on everything Facebook's gonna put you in Facebook jail <laughs> there's all these things you gotta consider and worry about right but that's what leaders tell you to do because that's what worked that's what has worked in the past and it kind of still works but just to be honest over time it'll stop working right because it'll be like and so, you know things change all the time but also because there's gonna be more and more people doing these things so it's gonna be harder and harder to become that expert in the groups and to grow your audience that way right so what I do now is I use a software called active group users which is what I which is what this episode is about kind of right I'm kind of finding your perfect prospects using the software how do you find your prospects or how do you find your perfect prospects using this software right I talk in the past I talked in the past about the three kinds of prospects right the potential prospects the ideal prospects and the perfect prospects so those are the three kinds of prospects right the potential prospect is really basically the prospect that's anybody anybody is a potential prospect more or less <clears throat> obviously you want to narrow your your focus to the ideal prospect which is the prospect that fits a certain you know criteria right you based on either your avatar based on your target market based on whatever you're doing to kind of get that uh, perfect prospect right I mean uh or ideal prospect I say the ideal prospect right so the ideal prospect is going to be a prospect that's 
possibly somebody who's going to buy from you because they're kind of like your target market they're kind of your avatar they 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 have traits that you have defined right you've decided what they what they do what they like you know that kinds of things so you can then create content around what they're interested in right oops I'm clicking the wrong things here there we go okay so you know I see I see so uh what's going on okay <laughs> so I'm clicking the wrong buttons here but anyways yeah so your ideal prospect is basically like I said it's a prospect that's in groups that you're interested like say for example you're building an affiliate program or you're selling an affiliate product and you're looking for other affiliates you might go in the affiliate marketing uh, group like this and try to you know connect with people and try to find who's interested in building your affiliate business or you know helping you sell your product or whatever right which is kind of what I do because I'm you know active group users is a is an affiliate program there is an affiliate program you get up to 50 percent commission if you uh refer anybody who buys the the actual uh well who pays for the paid paid plan I guess right in any case that's beside the point what I want to tell you is how do you find like how do you find a perfect prospect you see how these are all hot leads right hot 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 lead there's a warm lead right there if I kept going I loaded more right out of 28,000 right here if I loaded more I'd end up seeing some of the cold the cold leads and some of the leads that don't even have a temperature yet because I haven't even uh, reached out to them but you know say you have this list of ideal prospects they become perfect prospects after a certain set of things happen but you're in control you're in control of who you're going to visit here uh, you choose which of these names you go visit right you choose that that's your you're in control not Facebook Facebook doesn't decide you know if I go to the news feed right <laughs> like I said before if I go to the new <coughs> to the news feed on Facebook Facebook decides what they show me they decide what they show you right they decide whether my post gets seen by others they decide whether um my followers see my post or not they decide whether well even your ads when you pay for it they still decide who sees your ads right even though you kind of define some of the stuff but they're in control Facebook is in control do you want to be in control or do you want to let Facebook be in control right you want Facebook to decide what what you see you want a Facebook to decide who's post to engage on right I mean that's what it's all about right so I mean yeah so I you don't want Facebook to be in control you don't want Facebook to decide what it shows you so that you take action based on whatever Facebook wants you to take action and the reason why you don't want that is because that just fuels the algorithm of what to show you next because it's going to be based on what you engage on me when I look through my feed that's basically more or less what it's about I mean sure there's gonna be like ads just because I'm a man right there's gonna be things like uh that are based on <clears throat> on my and my stuff that I liked in the past or even sometimes like all these you know these like oops I guess he reloaded I was gonna say all these like things that have to do with old historical places and things like that I clicked at one point saying show me more so that's why I see those right also because you like stuff if you like it like if you click on the like right on or like or love or whatever you'll see more of that right but you want to take control right so when we talk about active group users that's what it lets you do it lets you take control and it lets you make a prospect go from ideal because the first thing you do with active group users is you choose who your ideal prospects are <clears throat> you tell it go to these groups go find me the people that are actually active in the groups that's what this list is all about the people that are actually active in the groups there's a there's a number over here and this is just sorted a certain way there's a number right here that says how many posts this is number of posts in the last 30 days and this is the number of comments in the last 30 days all right so that tells um that that tells you when you look at this list you can say okay well look this person here Alice she has five <laughs> five posts and five comments in the last 30 days Eli oh my god sorry Eli has 13 and um Jenna has two and um 
Ray has 29, Denine, Denine has 13, all right? So these are comments 14. So I could sort them with that. That's the thing with the tool. You can sort by any of these any of these columns. The only thing is if I sort it now, um, it's going to go back to the list of 25 people. I just want to show you with the longer list, kind of the different things that are here, right? So you can also see right here, you can decide to focus on just the people that are hot in terms of their temperature because the temperature is uh cold hot or warm right or cold i guess i should say cold warm or hot because that's the order that they they go right but basically you can say i want to i want to see just the hot leads the ones that are hot and how do they get hot is because they've been you've been nurturing them you've been commenting on their stuff you've been going to their facebook page you've been in their notifications you've been seen by them multiple multiple times and they become a hot lead because they know who you are now that doesn't mean that they're a perfect prospect yet because the perfect prospect is the one that actually buys from you and that that becomes a fan right but those are the ones that become perfect prospects are the ones that are that are hot prospects you have to get them to the hot point before you can try to you know bug them about your stuff or whatever right so it's a whole process it's a whole process where you get the list of people that are active which is what this list is then you engage on their posts regularly for a certain amount of time because it does take a while before somebody goes from cold which is like who is this guy who is this girl right don't know who you are at all they have no clue who you are versus them starting to be like oh yeah I've seen their post oh I like that they they put nice comments on my stuff they're they're nice I like them right between not knowing to knowing to liking right and then eventually to thinking that you're great they love you because they because every time you comment on their stuff you're saying something nice to them you're letting them know that their content is great you're letting them know that their content is helping you right that kind of stuff and you know no matter what you're doing on Facebook if you're this is the thing right people are like well I don't need that I can use Facebook right yeah sure if you're on Facebook and you're commenting on stuff on Facebook yes the person sees that you commented on their stuff right I mean <clears throat> like I don't know uh, Serenar I guess that's somebody who died maybe I don't know I don't know who that name is but <laughs> if you're watching this you know who that is you might be thinking to yourself oh my god how, how does he not know but anyways uh, you know we don't know everything uh but still I'm just saying if I scroll scroll through here I see Sean's Sean's post right here I can actually comment on his thing and that's it I the only thing is that I won't know only Facebook knows I won't know that today you know right now I'm recording this is December 11th today on December 11th I commented on Sean's post and I said a certain whatever I said right and Sean will potentially see me in his notifications and that's it that's all I know I like a week from now I probably won't remember that I commented on Sean's post and if I see another post of his tomorrow the day after you know that's kind of how it was that's kind of how it was before I would that's actually what I did before right I would actually go to Facebook I would go to to just to Facebook groups to Facebook news feed I would engage on the stuff there I would comment on that stuff and that would build momentum that's basically what it used to be you would comment on stuff and then Facebook would actually would actually you know help you with your content by showing your content to more people so that you would get comments on your stuff and you know some of that's still true it still sort of works but it's not as effic efficient now as it used to be right now it's a lot more about uh it's a lot more about them trying to get sales trying to get advertisers trying to get people to buy stuff trying to get people to see ads right I mean there's ads in here too right you can see a bunch of ads as I scroll right so the ads that you see are based on um you know what they think you're interested in right obviously right but also the posts are also based on that right so you, for you to take control you use a tool like this and this is how it works right I would click on say I would click on um Margaret's uh profile here and I go to her page like this which takes me straight to her profile I'm not going to the feed or anything I go straight to her page and I can com comment and engage on some of these posts yeah, as you can see I've already commented I've already engaged on this post 
I've already engaged on this so she hasn't posted anything recently so I've already engaged on the posts that are there so then what I do is just close the tab and then up here I would I would change this if I did comment on a post or you reacted on a post I would change that otherwise I just click on save now it shows me that I visited her it's green that shows me that I visited her just now versus these ones are 33 days ago five days ago six days ago right that kind of thing so if I want to visit Monica I click on her name I click on her name again to load the Facebook actual Facebook profile and I can come in here and I can say uh I can just react on one of this post and I can say the beach is is beautiful with or or without sun I actually read this post earlier but basically she's saying that today wasn't the was it was a foggy morning right so yeah I kind of so then I comment on that post and then maybe I'll go and I react to another one here right maybe I uh, react to another one here and then I just close the tab and then I say I reacted I counted one post I reacted to three posts that's basically all you do you just click on save update here and now again you can see Monica is green because I just visited her now it also shows the numbers uh, if we had noticed before these numbers have changed since I uh, they went up because I commented on one more post and I engage on on two more posts right so these numbers change that's kind of what it does the other thing the tool does too is it also tells you how many visits you've done today like so that way you can say okay you know what my daily method of operation is I'm going to visit five profiles a day or 10 or 20 me I do 20 so you can see up here that I've got 22 right here 21 there 20 here 20 here right so I've been doing 20 on, on most days today 22 because I did these two as well right now that I just did now and the number of reactions and the number of comments so that basically shows how many posts I've come down today now you might be thinking why well, why do I need to know that well the thing is that you have to not be too aggressive on Facebook too fast so say you wanted to get to you know 50 posts 50 profiles or 50 comments a day instead of just 20 because you know that you know numbers gives you better results you get more more engagement you'll get more results and, and you know all that that's all still true but the thing is you can't go to Facebook and start hammering it like crazy 50 or even 100 profiles in one day every day this week that won't work Facebook will put you in Facebook jail because you're going way too fast they don't like that but the algorithm is um what's the word for that the algorithm is it considers your past so if you you know engage on 20 on 20 on 20 on 20 on 20 then on 21 21 21 21 then 22 22 22 if you do that like that if you scale it up slowly you'll get to be able to do 50 without a problem that's just how Facebook works I'm not sure and that's the thing with Facebook nobody knows exactly how that works how the numbers are nobody knows exactly how fast you do it but I know for a fact anybody who's tried it if they do a, like two weeks or so of a particular you know thing and they increase it a little bit afterwards and do it another two weeks maybe a week is a, is enough but I've been I've been recommending two to two to four weeks of the same thing um it depends also if you do it every day or whether you do it every three days or that kind of stuff all those things matter right but the point is that if you do something consistent for a while and then you increase it a little bit maybe 10 percent then you can increase it again at the same level later and then you'll get to this crazy amount of of uh, you know ability to do a lot more than what you can do today right that's kind of just how Facebook works so I wanted to talk about so that this episode was about using active group users to find perfect prospects so I need to probably clearly define what I mean by perfect prospects uh, you know at the beginning of this episode you might have been like uh well he's just talking around stuff and whatever I know I'm kind of like that I rant on and I don't necessarily always get to the point in a way that's clear and precise so let me try to do that today right so let's actually go to oh I don't have it open let's go open let's go open a file I'll be right back all right got it there and yeah so how do you find perfect prospects with active group users number one you need the software right 
Now, if you don't use the software, you can still do lots of this work yourself, but it's a lot more work, right? So go get the software at activegroupusers.com slash trial. There's going to be a trial link. I can actually show you what that looks like. And so if we go to HTTPS, so let's just put it right here as well. Uh, activegroupusers.com, right? Uh, slash trial. If you go to that, let's open a new tab. <coughs> So activegroupusers.com slash trial. <clears throat> There's a free uh 90 right now it's 90 day trial, right? I think it is. Is that what I'm doing here? Well, maybe I need to update this page and maybe it'll be different when you see it, but basically you just put your name here and you'll get an automatic an, an, an activated account. If you go straight to activegroupusers.com. you'll see there's a link here to go to the trial which will take you to the same page as what we just saw uh, but you can also uh, uh, log in register an account here but that'll only give you 14 days which is the default that you get by just going through the website otherwise you just uh, go through that and create your account so once you have your account you have to enter the uh, let's see over here so number one you get the account number two you add the groups the groups you uh your ideal prospects hang out in all right so I, I have some good news and I have some bad news right so the good news is I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to find perfect prospects the bad news is it's not a get rich quick it's not something that's going to take week days or weeks it's it can actually take months to get to a point where you have perfect prospects and the reason is because human brains humans we need time to get to know somebody if you're trying to get somebody to know you it's n you can't do it instantly it takes time it's because of the way our brain needs exposures we need to see things more than once we need to feel things more than once all that has to happen over time it can't be instant or quick it takes months maybe even years I don't know it depends on how your activity and whether you're you're really taking uh, control but it takes a while all right so that's the bad news but the good news is you can do it and I can show you how all right so number two you add the groups to to uh to the tool number three is you get the tool get uh agu I'll call it agu because there's a short for it right so let's get that link out of there we don't need to see that anymore uh get agu to fetch active users every day all right so basically you configure the tool to run every night or you manually run it every day what it does is it goes to those groups you gave it and gets the list of people that are actually posting commenting in those groups and saves them right uh then over time um over time well let's just say every day every day visit same number of profiles you have not visited in last say six days and comment on one of their posts so basically you you can comment on more than one but one is enough because all it does is it basically puts your name and your face in their notifications and they see your comment oh oh I gotta go to sleep I think but it's not that late uh but yeah so you basically go to their profile and comment on one of their posts I also do a react on three posts so I will I will comment on one post and and react on it too and I will react on two other posts so total of three posts I'll react on and I'll do that now um over time these ideal prospects will see your face name and comments right they'll see them in their notifications so they'll see them in the notification that will that will automatically 
grow their know, like, and trust in you. Now, growing your know, like, and trust is the most important thing you need to do to build a um, to build authority online on social media on Facebook right so you got to become somebody who they know like and trust they need to know like and trust you before they'll buy from you right and then co contact them so that's when you can contact them and say hey I, I I just I was thinking of you and um was wondering if you'd be interested in looking into whatever right now obviously the conversation itself you'll need to work on it'll be based on your content it'll be based on what you know of them because you've been visiting their profile you can probably check the profile and make a con make a connection that way but the idea is that those people they will know like and trust you there they they they've seen you enough they're not going to be like ignoring you and think this is a this is a scammer or something because they've seen you long enough to know that you're in it to win to to you know to stick around you're consistent you've been posting of of course you got to be posting as well you got to be doing other things that are kind of like but that's how and that's that's how contact them in in a pm right or zoom whoops or zoom and have a conversation that's basically the process they become a perfect prospect that's how they become a perfect prospect I know it's it's a lot but you know it's just little steps every day that you do that over time will turn a ton of people into perfect prospects and that's the secret is just to do little things every day for a long time and that will give you great results lots of bigger results instead of doing spamming and things like that randomly sending messages or friend requests to people like you don't do those things that doesn't work at least it doesn't work long term all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.